Bienvenue to Le Café Craft. I have my phone on airplane mode. My name is Patricia and I'll be your captain for the duration of this video. Here we go. So, giveaway, super duper lab book. It's finished, it's done, done, done. And I know a lot of you guys have it done, done, done. And this is so exciting. We're okay. All right, breathe in, breathe out. Here. All right, so this is, let's start with the cover because I always forget those things. Okay, so this is the cover, this is the closure, this is the spine. And this is the back. This is, I'm just gonna briefly, this is the full leather. I have a video about that. This is a uh, wallpaper sample. I do not have a video about that. And this is the closure. And I will talk at length at the end of the video about the closure if you're interested. If not, you don't have to watch it. Anyhow, we opening it and hopefully it does open. Does it? Yes. Ta da! All right. Oh, I wanted to let you know. I believe in Santa. Check that out. I have a new mat, cur courtesy of my granddaughters. Ooh, that's love, isn't it? Anyway, okay. I'm not gonna be technical because you watched like 12 videos of how to make it. So, you know. If you didn't, well, then do that. Then you know all the ins and outs of this thing. We're going to concentrate on theme, decoration, what's in it, blah, blah, blah. The cool stuff. Okay. So first page, inside cover, part two. Uh, this is the coolest tag. I love that tag. I mean, right up. From the beginning, I thought this is going to be the tag for the opening. Yes, I just love it. Aren't they cool? They are awesome. What's those girls? Man. I mean, woman, maybe. Okay, there's writing space in the back of everything. Blah, 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 blah. You know the story. Okay, I use old ledger, different type of ledgers. I put a good-looking woman here. This is the full leather. This is the uh, embossed paper. I put a little, this is old, um, I mean, fake old rib, silk ribbon, and I just love it. I think it looks so pretty. Okay, here we have some tags. Now you already guessed the theme, right? Mm -hmm. Could it be French? I don't know. We oui, no. Very important. Yes, no. No is usually the safe way to go about it, just in case you don't know what people are talking about. So we get two tags here, one and two. Oh. So the news is there's about 200 finished lab book already on people's table. Oh my gosh, right? Gee, we're gonna start a lab book factory. Okay, this, this we did together. I put a ledger in the background. Those are little tags that I put in. This, somebody blowing their hair. She looks so cool. Those are little advertisements. Okay, I kept it not monochrome, but, you know, kind of like really toned down because it's going to be somebody's lab book. So go ahead, you know, splash the colors that you like in there. You know, I mean, there's no way for me to know. So, the old Paris picture... There's the Eiffel Tower right here. That's the Invalid, which is, you know, an old building. That's a boulevard with old tramways and horse and carriage. Okay, this is your paperclip. Those are like spare ring, you know, just in case you lose one, whatever. I figure, hmm, let me give you some spare. This is, this is one of you on the sewing machine. See, I don't sew, so, but, you know, that's what's going on. Here I got a little ticket for the little train to go to Palais Royal. I got a no driver license to drive automobiles. That's exactly what it says on that. Hold on. All right, all right, I put you on the top. Here you go. 
And this is a little, au bon marché, it's a little um, hat box, right? There's a little stamp here. See, a lot of stuff. I mean, pretty much everything you can take off and just put your stuff in it, right? Other side. So, as you know, there was those guys there. One and I punched his face, so I kind of cover him because, you know, it kind of hurt every time I look at it. So, anyway, eh, we don't know. But I had to balance this out, so I put women. Now, those are from a very old um, uh, deck of cards. Now, those are not the original. I keep the original because I think I have like five of them that my sister gave me. My sister is so cool. She keeps sending me all kind of stuff all the time. So, yeah, way to go, sis. Anyhow, but see, it's got the name on it. I didn't even know they had names. Obviously, they did. So, anyway, they have their names on here. And it goes in here. Now, here, we have one envelope which has Paris on it. Open like so. I don't, you know what? I really honestly do not remember exactly what I put inside things. There's a little paper clip here. Okay, what do we got? I mean, I know you want to know what's in it because eventually one of you is going to get that lab book, right? So, oh, yeah, that's to tell you you just bought, you know, like um, some property in France. How cool is this? I think that can make you feel so right. And, well, you know, when you buy property, you start to have, like, bills of, you know, what you're going to have to uh, pay to uh, redo this and redo that. So, anyway, that goes in here. I'm not going to put everything back the right way because we're going to be here all day, okay? So, that's the envelope. And it closed with a tag and put a little thing here. Now, because you're in France, in Paris, what do you do? You spend money. Duh. This is your expense book. So it goes like this, you get your scrap paper, you get, this is the sewing machine, I'm telling you. So this is the official spending right here, but there's also the unofficial spending, which is inside. See, that's all the stuff that you don't want people to know. So you just flip it that way. Secret expenses, okay, and in the back of it, there's a little belly band with, you know, French advertisement about, I don't know, stuff, you know, hats and plate warmers and all kind of cool stuff like that. And then there's, you know, I think it's a magazine thing in the background. Okay, so this goes in here. As I say, I'm not going to put things back in because we're going to do all day. This is the every envelope. This is what mine look like. You get the full leather again, then the embossed paper. I don't know. Just call me crazy. I thought that looks really cool. So there you go. This is what you have. Hope you like shoes. Inside... I got, you remember I sent you uh, covers of books and everything? Well, I did the same thing with some books, old books that I had. And I made copy and, uh, you know, shrink them. So this is one of the book, front and back, with the uh, inside cover and the inside back cover. And so you got plenty of writing here. And this is another book about the history of France that obviously you can rewrite if you want to. So this little book uh, has um, coffee dyed paper and it's got two little tabs. So here's the first tab. And this is the second tab. See, because you are, I mean, you live in France, you are going to spend money. There's no if or but this is going to happen. So let me briefly put that back in. I'm going to do like a little speech at the end, okay? Right now, I'm just going to go through, you know, what we have to cooperate. Here we go. Then we have the mystery envelope. So this is my mystery envelope. 
It goes like this. I mean, you can tell what it is. I'm not going to tell you. This is a tag. This is a stamp. You know, right? You can see. You can see with your very own eyes. This is um, an old... Uh, those are copies, all right? Of an old postcard about Le Moulin Rouge. This is... You see that, right? I, guess, I don't know what kind of frame I'm in. Um, this is a really good-looking lady. Uh, that's also sample. That's the same paper than the back of the front cover. So, you know, this is the top of the mystery envelope. Inside that first pocket, I have a map of all the Paris monuments. If you want to know where they are, when you want to go there, you just take the map with you. And it goes back in, which is always a relief when it goes back in. Right, right. Okay, now, if you glue things the wrong way, and if this happened, that happened, well, rest assured, all kind of stuff happened to me too. So, you know, just don't sweat it, just redo it. I mean, I read it so many things. This is a commercial for a fine clothes. All right, that looks pretty good. Did you get writing space in the back? This is a copy of a uh, Nord magazine about, I oh know, that goes like this, see? I'm telling you. Um, old dresses and neat, huh? Okay, then we open it like this. Let me slide. So here we got the little ex libris with the Eiffel Tower. We have another Eiffel Tower right here. And here is um, a woman jeweler. How cool, right? Checking out pearls. I mean, why not? Uh, this page here is uh, all the necessary information if you got to drive into Paris. I mean, drive, mind you, we're talking horse and carriage, okay? But you got to, oh, they also have electric cars. They have little train, all of that. So this is the little booklet which goes in here. And that is the um, Horse Buggy Drivers Union, right? So you need that. I mean, otherwise, I don't know if they let you drive around. Anyway, and as I said, you bought property. So in the hidden pocket, you have receipt of the balance of the money that you gave, you gave for your properties. Cool. Cool. And same thing, they're backed up with the wallpaper. And it goes in here. So it goes like this. I'm still confused with that thing, okay? To this day, to this day, I'm still confused with this envelope. Then you have the French board, right? The elastic French board. So I had to put this good looking guy who is obviously you know riding buggies it's kind of a little cabinet picture do you have view of paris that's an envelope that's other view of paris you know those old double picture inside here is um Oh, well, that's the opera. So here you go. So that goes in there. I just love that thing. Okay, on this side we have, well, a cool little tag with the Eiffel Tower. We have Notre Dame when it was still in one piece, right? With some writing on it writing space in the back and an old check from uh i don't know wow that i mean back then that was a lot of money from 1908 200 and something franc i mean you could live for a year with that at least i think anyway so this goes here and now we have the flip out all together, ha ha, 
sure hope you can see all of it. Okay. So, I want everybody to know that I spent hours on this envelope because, you see, I wanted it to match the front here. And it does match perfectly. And it takes forever. And I really love it. I think it's pretty cool. Inside, I got, um, those are genuine old um, best tub. So I got 1945, 1938, 1934, and 1942. Okay? This, those are genuine. Those are real. This is the real thing. Okay, and then it goes back like this. So this I had to put on the side because, see, I didn't do all of that to plaster something on top of it, though. So it's on the side, but it works just the same. So let's moving on. This is the little folders with the flip up envelope. Here it says Ile de France, which is, you know, the island of France. The island of France is Paris because Paris, I mean, the islands of the city is where um, Notre Dame is, right? Because it's surrounded by you know, different arms of the river. And also Paris and itself as a city was called the island of France. Now you just, you know, just like you always learn things. Anyway, this is a little Paris thing because there's a little pocket here. This is the bird. Oh my gosh, we got such a thing with that bird. I didn't know if I wanted to keep the bird or not. And anyway, and that bird came back. I don't know if you saw, but for a while the bird was out. Anyway, bird is back. This is a copy of a postcard of the Eiffel Tower right here. Here we got a little, um, you know, French advertisement with the ledger paper in the back. Here we have, oh, see, this is a cute little vellum envelope. And... You know when you tear up something and then you say, oops, I shouldn't have... Well, this, those are the pieces of the... See, oops, shouldn't have... I mean, it's like randomly. But I think that looks cute when it was the right size. So this, that. In there, there is... Uh, another postcard with, you know, Boulevard in Paris. Anybody who wants to know, it says on every postcard, it says what it is, where it is. So that's a good thing. So that goes, I mean, those things are gonna go back in, but okay, I'm just gonna put them on the side right here. Then we have the little folders. So I'm gonna start with the top. That is a postcard of the Gare de Lyon, writing space. I mean, you can write as much as you want. You can also take everything out and put your stuff in, you know. I mean, when it's going to be yours, is yours, right? This is a commercial for, um, what is it, a printer. I guess, you know, with what we do, that was totally apropos. Here is a Lac de Triomphe. It says Paris. I think that's another... That's uh, Champs-Élysées, back, 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 back then, right? That's a little bit different now, I'll say. I'm trying to figure out because there's so many. This is, uh, that's another permit for uh, buggy with horses, you know, that you paid your four francs, so you get to go, you can buggy around. Uh, this is Air France was giving map of Paris, writing space in the back. Here is, you know, that's what you read in school when you were a kid, Alphonse Daudet, you know, they had all those, he wrote all those stories. Anyway, that's a book cover. I thought that was pretty cool. I like the, the tone, you know, the color tone. Anyway, so this is this. 
now. And we do like this. We got the little flipper bags. We also did that together. And the little tabs there. See, that's where you get to put them higher, right? Would you get the idea? When you start putting things in it, you realize, you know, how things evolve pretty much. So those are map, copy of map of um, Paris and around Paris. And those are, uh, I took them out of a little history book. Those are questions like, um, you know, the life of uh, King St. Louis and uh, when did they start building cathedrals and things like that, right? So those, those are the little question. So inside here, I got a little postcard. That's, um, what is this? Avenue de Breteuil. So that's the septième arrondissement. I lived there for a while. Well, don't get me wrong. I had like a tiny little place because this is a very expensive place to live. Uh, this one I got little commercial in French, of course. I mean, by the end of that book, you should be fluent. Just saying. Uh, this, oh, okay. So now I know there is some jewelers, uh, jewel makers, whatever that's called, right? And some of them subscribe to the Cafe Craft. Now I have a question for them. What the heck are those things? Because I bought that in, um, I don't know, it's really like it was a pack of something and I thought, oh, that looks cool. So I bought it. And this is those things that they're not, I don't know what they do with it, but it's not, see, it's not pointy, but anyway, so I use them like pins because they're like safe pins. So that's a little view of Paris, of the Champs-Élysées. And I put, so that's from an old newspaper. That's the original piece of newspaper, right? I figure whoever is going to win this, chances are this is somebody who crafts. So, you know, might as well have some stash. What we got in here? We got another little postcard. Pretty much that's what I did. I put a whole bunch of, you know, stuff that you can add to your stash. Stuff and stash. And that's another one. That's a, that's the cathedral. I mean, that's Notre Dame, which is a cathedral anyway. And um, see, that's, that's, real, that's the real old thing. I mean, I don't know how old. I guess the 50s or something. But I mean, it's, it is yellow enough. I didn't do that yellow, huh? I was like, yeah, it was yellow like that. So I put the little silk ribbon here and there, like this. Did we do that? Nope. So we got bigger postcard. Also Paris, that's Boulevard de Vaugirard. This one is Rue Saint-Dominique, and you can see the Eiffel Tower in the background there. That you can write things maybe here in between there. I don't know. This is uh, the top of the Eiffel Tower. And I made it like, you know, could be with postcard. I put some. So I put stamps. You saw that there were stamps here, here, and there. Those are all old, old French stamps. Anyway, so that. And here is the, uh, that's from Les Galeries Lafayette. That's a little advertisement on, uh, you know, like Seal Rosebuck got a catalog, but they did have a catalog too. I mean, who doesn't have a catalog? Well, I don't, but you know, maybe I should have one. Anyway, so you got your handkerchief, you got gloves, you got ties, scarf, and all of that, that goes in here. Like so. And now we have the, the pocket folder. I think you get first look because the way the, the camera is new too. Woohoo, right? And everything is new. All right, so now this is the mother load of stash. So this is what I put in there. 
I put some, okay, there's nothing dirty. I kind of proofread it. French book, but that's, that is an old one. That is the, the color it is, is the color it was. All right, so there's gonna be this. This is a copy. This is a ledger, because we all need ledger, right? Uh, in here, I put, oh, but I show you that. That was with the, that little book, right? On how to write, you know, different style. So there's the whole double page here. And whoever get the lab book will have that too. And that's the real, that's the real thing out of the book. Also, what I did is I made some letterhead on parchment paper. So I got this one is for perfume. This one is, uh, it's a cloth, you know, kind of like, um, you know, clothes, like, uh, you know, like a store where you buy clothes. How do you call those things? Who knows? Anyway, that's what it is. So that's on this side. And we also put a little bunch of um, prescriptions, original, in there. And a little pack of same thing, original, you know, old checks from the 1930s and 1927, 1900, okay? And that goes here. On that side, you got, that's a copy. It's um, children uh, grade book that I put on the, you know, old paper with all the, you know, it's very important for the grades, blah, 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 to go to school and it's all there. I got more of the letterheads. So this one is um, is a printer who do artistic things, obviously, because it says there. This one is for flower. And this one is for dresses and coat, right? And I mean, you can take those and print them black and white and, you know, reuse them here or there, or whatever you want to do with it. What else there is? Oh, then I've been really nice too. So this is, those are real. I mean, real, like nothing is unreal, but like genuine old paper. That's the, that's part of the other little book about, you know, how to calculate thing. And so I give you two double page of those. Right, and an old letter from 1813. And that is that is also the real thing. And that's really good paper, by the way. But that's the real thing with the stains and everything which goes with it. Okay, and you know, like, uh, how do you call that? Oh, whatever, ink splattering. Okay, and that goes in here, and that is your giveaway lab book. Now, we're gonna have to talk about the giveaway and make sure that everybody knows what the heck we're doing. So, this is the thing. First, you get to subscribe, but I mean, you know, of course, if you don't subscribe to Le Café Craft, uh, really, who are you? That's what I want to know. So, you subscribe to the Cafe Craft. Then, when you done doing that, this was in here somewhere, or oh, that was on the other side. I don't even know. Um, you're gonna have to put a comment, and we're just gonna code the comment. So the comment should be. I think I keep calling it the super duper lab book. So put a comment with super duper lab book. Okay. And then we go from there or super lab book. I mean, you know, something like that. 
where was that thing? Okay, now the good news is I got so many new subscribers, so thank you, welcome, oh, I love you. The bad news is now it's gonna be a, I'm shaking the table. It's gonna be a giveaway. This is like 900 and something of you guys, so, you know. And many more are gonna subscribe, so this is the only one is gonna have this lab book. But I wanted to stress the fact, don't you love that envelope? Oh my God, I love that thing. I just love it. That's my favorite page out of the whole book. Um, the other thing I wanted to say was, if you are in the process of doing the lab book series, right? Or if you think you're going to do it next month, whatever the story is. But you subscribe to Le Café Craft. Of course you do. Then please use the link in the description box below of each video because there's free giveaways and those are still good. Those do not expire. If you want to do make the lab book in two months from now, use those link, send the email and we send you the giveaway right back via email. So everybody can have those giveaways. I mean, everybody who subscribed to the Cafe Crab. Of course. So, anyway, I hope you like it all. The giveaway is international because huh, there's people from everywhere. So, yes, it will travel international. And the winner will be declared on a Sunday because that's one day that, I mean, pretty much everybody is hopefully home. I mean, most of us are. And if you're not, I feel for you because really Sunday. But anyway, so that will be on Sunday, January 31st. We do the giveaway for the Super Duper Lab book. Now, yes, there's the rings and this and that. So now I'm going to talk briefly about the closure, if you're interested in that closure. First of all, is it a headache to make? Yes. Will you succeed on the first try? Well, I did not. So that, I want you to know that it was not that easy. First, first it was not that easy. Second, yes, it was a great idea until, you know, it's like all great idea, until you start doing it. And then you go like, oh, this and that, because you know, it gets technical. So, this is what happened with this closure. First of all, I didn't want to use, I wanted to use paper, cardstock, things like that. What I used to do this is um, old, you know, music roll, you know, those music roll box, because most of them are busted, see? They're kind of ripped and this. So I use this. And this is really old. And I thought, you know what? Let's just put a little piece. Of, I don't know. I mean, I just, I said, you know what? This is what I'm going to use. So this is what I use. And then I was, if you remember, saying, well, you know, you measure about how, I mean, of, you know, whatever your spine is. Pretty much this is what this has to be, right? Yes, because, you know. But then I found out that once you put it, it just, it was not right. It was not right. It was not working properly. So I thought, okay, what am I doing wrong? And then I went and took old purses with that closure system. See, what happened in North only you need this spot here, but you also need this spot here. This need to be thick, so this can go up if needed. It's not just that, because if you do that longer, then it's just gonna, you know, like bulge out, which we don't want that bulge out look. We want like slick look. So that's what I discovered. This spot has to be 
thicker, which explain busting boxes and blah, blah, blah. Right? So then I had to do that thing because then now, of course, it's not going to go away. The other thing I did is I reinforce this part right here because obviously there's a lot of tension. I mean, a lot. There's some tension right on that, so you don't want it to rip it. But anyway, whoever gets it, you know, please be really nice with it because it's made out of old stuff. And I think it's pretty cool. Anyway, this is the giveaway. January 31st. We'll know who's getting it. Please subscribe to the Cafe Craft. Leave a comment. Mention Super Duper Lab Book because it is a Super Duper Lab Book. And anybody who made one already, because I know they did, they, everybody agrees. It's pretty Super Duper. If you made your lab book and you want to show your lab book, there is a Facebook group called Le Café Craft. Oh, hello. What a coincidence. And you can totally post your pictures there and show what you got, what you did, this and that. There is an email link also in the description box below. If you run into problem or whatever, you know, I will answer the best I can. I mean, you know, whatever I can do to help, I will. And as I said before, the video giveaway for every single video are still good. If you're doing your lab book now, in three weeks from now, in three months from now, take advantage of those free giveaway. They will still be going on. I mean, if I'm around, they go on. If I'm not around, then, you know, nothing goes. So, huh? and I intend to be around. So... I'm going to finish in saying we are in 2021, which is a good thing because I spent a whole year saying 2020 like I was, I don't know, fresh coming from France with a very thick French accent. I don't know why everybody went into that European 2020, but I pretty, I really hope we're going to say 2021 because this is going to be a lot easier than 2021, right? Who wants to do that? So that, I hope you all had a nice end of the year, a good start on the new one. And as we know, this is going to go fast. Is there anything coming up? There is plenty. I have a list of things that I have to do. And so this, yep, videos are coming and I'm... One of them, okay, um, there's going to be one fake photo album, which I think that's going to be fun. And there is going to be a men for men lab book, uh, but out of paper bags and stuff like that. And titanic stuff this is gonna be really cool there's that there's there's i want there was gonna be a video about envelopes because i just went on to the envelope rampage and other than that i'm just gonna have to clean up the see how nice and clean it is here i'm gonna have to clean up the whole disaster around me which is like piles and piles and piles reorganize everything <laughs> and uh that's it just getting on um hope you like it hope you think it's pretty cool i think it is and um happy crafting happy making bye